Welcome to my YouTube channel, Rick Sorts Watercolor. This video is one in a series of videos I'm doing of Christmas cards for 2020. I hope you enjoy this, and if you do enjoy my channel, be sure to subscribe by clicking on the icon in the lower right hand corner if you haven't already. And if you do like this video, be sure to like it and share it with others. This is my 2020 Christmas card number 12. You can find the link for the template for this in the description of the video. Hi everybody, this is Rick. I am back in my studio and this is going to be the final Christmas card in my 2020 series of Christmas cards. This is Christmas card number 12. And this one, if you can see, is uh, a bunch of candy canes. So this is the template that you, you can find on my website. And I've drawn it here. And it's somewhat light. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and develop uh, this area here a little bit more than in this area. I'm going to uh, be a little darker with my values and harder with my edges and let that soften a little bit and lighten perhaps as I go this way. So this is more of a focal point. So I'm going to start with uh, a wash. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some quinacridone violet, I believe. And I'm going to keep most of my colors on one side of the color wheel for the most part. Uh, but what I want to do is I'm going to kind of uh, work in negative space around the exterior edges of some of the candy canes that are lying on top. So I'm just going to begin with a wash. Just uh, Actually, going to go with a little smaller brush here. I'm using a number four brush. I was had a number six brush there, but there's some tight areas. And I will be using some gradation at some point. But right now, I'm just taking a light value wash of this quinacridone violet. It's just a red violet. You can mix something like this. Um, don't get too worried about having to uh, use this particular color that I'm using. So here we go. And I can figure out as I paint this where the where the stripes are going to be on these candy cane shapes that I'm painting. I'm not really using uh, a reference photo to paint this. I looked at some candy canes to create the template. A little bit more paint. So you can see this is just working off the exterior edge of some of these overlapping shapes to push some areas back in space. Uh, so really working in negative areas there. Not going too too dark with this yet. It's just a very light wash. And I'll glaze back over some of these areas again it's with some darker washes, some gradation, some smaller sh shapes, some smaller darker shapes. But right now, I'm just trying to get some major uh, shapes to find some of the larger areas uh, or the top, the areas that would be more on the surface. This whole area down. And this is going to dry even lighter.
Normally when I'm glazing like this, I'm using a, a, a larger brush, but I've got a couple tight angles in here and a few small shapes. I could still do it, but I'm just, just sticking with this number four round brush. Let's see, we'll push that back. this here. Actually, I think I'm going to glaze over that. So now I start to see some of the, the shapes that are going to be more on top. And now what I want to do is give this a quick dry. Alright, I've dried that. Now, I'm going to come back a little darker mixture of this and then I'm going to look at some of these shapes within the areas where I put that first glaze and I'm going to push some of those shapes back a little bit more so I'm going a little darker with my wash so now I'm working off of the exterior edges of some of those these shapes that fell in the area where I glazed the first time. So so, so far I've only used one color, this quinacridone violet, so just a red violet. does get to be a bit of a maze. So this this red violet that I'm using for a darker value is going to look different in terms of the hue than the colors that I'll be using on the uh, candy cane. So that you should be able to differentiate between a, a value that's similar um, on a stripe and a, and a value that's in the background because of the shift in the hue. We'll be using a redder uh, a tone on the actual candy canes themselves. I think, let's see, I want to go darker here. in here. A few areas here. And now I'm gonna dry this. <clears throat> now I'm gonna take uh, a larger brush sure that it doesn't have anything in it. Alright, so I'm going to take uh, some of my red violet and I'm just going to glaze kind of randomly but with some intent over top of some of these uh, areas that I left as the uh, the top layer just to suggest there's some shadows being cast on these and it's such an irregular uh, 
group of these candy canes laying everywhere that the shadows are going to be just kind of everywhere. So I'm giving a suggestion of some shadows. Over top, it might be a little dark there. Uh, some of these top candy canes, and add a little bit more over here. And I want to dry it again, so I'm just building up layers, starting very light. All right, now I'm going to use this violet again and I'm going to go uh, darker. I'm actually going to add maybe a little royal blue to it. Let's see. It's not a little, that's a lot. Alright. So now I want to get some some darker areas. I'm going to gradate these, this wash a little bit. So I'm going with a darker value and then I'm softening that edge a little bit. Get this a little sharper here. So you can see this tends to be the area that I'm focusing on. here As I paint this, we're getting close to Christmas and the temperatures have cooled down. I think it's about 27 outside my house, but I'm right on the edge of the nor'easter that's going to hit the east coast today. And I think it's just going to give us a coating of an inch or so. So we're not really going to get much, but if you go probably about 100 miles east of us, and you're talking a foot of snow or so as you get over into Pennsylvania and New York and those places. All right. So let me dry this and I'm going to paint some some of the red on the painting. Now, I'm going to take some pyrrole red and I'm going to take some rose matter. Actually, I'm going to take some alizarin crimson. This is alizarin crimson quinacridone. 
So now I'm going to start to paint some of the stripes on these candy canes. And you can see that this stands out as a stripe because of the difference in the hue. I'm going to soften some of those just so there's some variation. And in some areas, I'm also going to use some areas I'll use the uh, blizzard and then I'm going to switch over and, and uh, gradate in some pyro red here a little closer to uh, just a little brighter red. And that's what I did there, but I'm going to blot these with my tissue just to soften some of the application. But I want to be actually want to be a little stronger there. So now we come around here. You can see I'm not just painting these just with a, a, a flat wash. I'm, I'm uh, a little stronger with color in some areas and letting the water just soften that, lighten that up a little bit. A few of these areas, I'm going to put the, the candy canes have these broad stripes, but they also have uh, some thin lines that are in between. So I'll put some of those in. Let's see, we're going to go here. It does. Have to pull out some stripes and decide which way you want to paint them. This is a little complex. Okay, save the hardest card for last. Or the most in, most involved card. Got a little careless with that brush stroke. <clears throat> Let me clean that up. So I'll come back over top of some of these and uh, strengthen the intensity of the color, but I'm not making them all strong right at the start. Here we go. on this one. We'll go this way. And here's one that I want to paint. There we go. 
just gonna kind of have to look and find some of the colors and decide where you want to paint. Now I'm going to take a number one liner brush. We can take a lighter value here, but I'm going to put uh, some of these thin lines that that kind of parallel the broader stripes. And I'm not going to go crazy with this. I'm going to just give an indication of it, uh, especially in the the main candy canes here that are closer to the top. And I like to break these lines up a little bit so they're not just solid lines. So here we'll have Some of these areas just giving a slight indication of a few of these lines, not not a lot. And I need to do something there that that shape there doesn't make sense, so I'm going to push that back a little bit. I'm going to glaze around that. And push some that down. So let me dry this. So it's still pretty light. Now I'm going to take uh, some darker values. I'm going to add a little royal blue to that again. Now I'm going to put in my darkest values yet. Take some clear water and soften those a little. So now I'll start to push the, the areas that are the farthest back with this darker value, it pushes them farther back here in space. It gives a little more depth to my painting. Get this here. bring some of these darker values across the card here. <coughs> Excuse me. Find a few dark pockets here. Not going to be uh, quite as many here. I'm trying to develop this part a little less, but I still want to carry that value over there. So I'm going to put some of that there and I'm going to soften that.
Then I'm going to strengthen a few areas on these candy canes. A little stronger with my my color. In particular in this area. I'll get some of the pyro red also. Probably a bit long for a Christmas card, but it's the last one we're doing. So just kind of adding a little, little highlights there, strengthen that that red in a few spots. Now just a little touch here. I don't want to make this as strong over on this side. This one, this would be brighter. And maybe I'll go a little stronger with a couple of these lines. Still getting some help from my pencil lines here. I want to erase what I can. It's not all going to come off. Brush that off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take one. I'm going to take some of this uh, alizarin crimson. And I'm going to glaze over a little, just a gradated wash in a few areas to bring that red tone into it. Help tie the colors on that candy cane into these background areas using this color. So, just a little bit here and there. Now a little over here. So, we're picking up some of this red tone in the background areas just helps tie it together a little more all right i think that's about all i want to do and just keep going i can fiddle with this probably for a while longer but we're going to dry this take the tape off and i'm going to erase the tape off. all right so let's go ahead and take off tape I'm going to get the, the pencil marks off the edges from where I drew it for my template And there we have our candy cane Christmas card. And uh, uh, this is the last in my series 
of 2020 Christmas cards. I hope you enjoyed this series. Uh, it's not something that I uh, normally do, uh, but uh, this has been a tough year, 2020, so let's look forward to the new year and uh, uh, have a very happy holiday.